Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and okay, I'm gonna finish Ruby Volume 2 today, and if I feel like it, and it won't take me long, I might start Ruby Volume 3, uh, though I think what I'm gonna do is work out more on uh, Fire Force, since I only have two episodes of that at the moment. And that was my, part of my 1,000 subscriber special. Speaking of which, I gotta work on the reading some more. Um, this is nuts, guys. Because ever since I started Ruby, not only have my subscribers have gone up, my watch time's gone up. It went up from, I think, like 40-something hours of watch time in the past 28 days when I first started it to over 200 now in the past 28 days like 217 hours of watch time and that's insane i don't know who the heck is watching the videos but thank you so much for it i yeah, really appreciate it my blind reaction to ruby volume 2 episode 9 we'll start in three two one and these ain't that long but it don't take that long to do these Okay. Professor Ooblick? Yes, I'm afraid those bags won't be necessary, girls. Seeing as you've opted to shadow a huntsman on what is now essentially a reconnaissance mission, I can assure you we will not be establishing a single base of operations. Rather, we will be traversing several miles of hazardous wasteland and making uh... locations we may stumble upon. I packed all of our essentials myself. Wait a second, Air what did it say on Ruby's bag? And it's Dr. Ooblick. I didn't earn the PhD for fun. Thank you very much. Uh... Come now, children. Come oh my god, I just realized it's the guy who's hyped up on Eagle. coffee. Oh god. Well, alright then. Looks like we're going to- Hang on, let me go back. I want to see what her bag said. It's Dr. Ooblet. Dang it, hang on. Oh, Beacon Academy. Doi. I thought for a second he was going to say something like Rooster Teeth or something. I can assure you we will not be establishing a single base of operations. Rather, we will I'm be sorry. several miles of <laughs> It just caught my eye and I was like, ooh, it might be an Easter egg. That would have been cool. Essentials myself, pulled the air course, and ready the airship. And it's Dr. Ooblick. I didn't earn the PhD for fun. Thank you very much. Uh... Come now, children. <laughs> According to my schedule, we are already three minutes behind. Schedule. This Let's guy is hyped up on coffee. Like we're going to save the world with Dr. Oop. Like, okay, yeah, when you say it out loud, it sounds worse. Save the world? You're going on world-saving missions without us? I'm hurt, sad. Maybe a little hungry? That last one's not your fault, though. Ren. Sounds exciting. How is it his fault? <laughs> oh, just outside the kingdom. Hey, so are we. Ren and Nora wanted to shadow the sheriff of a nearby village. We set out tomorrow. Then you can party with us tonight. We're shadowing a crime specialist. All inner oh, city cool. detective stuff. We get junior badges. Oh. Cool. We normally go to the city with you guys, which means stuff's always exploding in junk. So we thought this might be a better way to check out the kingdom when it's, you know, normal. Well, <laughs> minutes, ladies. <laughs> We gotta go. Luck. I guess I just never saw you as much of a fighter. I didn't yeah. think I fancy myself more of an intellectual, but I can assure you, as a huntsman, I've had my fair share of tussles. Like the mushroom? Those are truffles. 
<laughs> Those are Brussels. Besides, given my expertise in the field of history as well as <laughs> I think she said in sprouts. the archaeological surveys, our dear headmaster saw it fit to assign me to this particular assignment. What does history have to do with this? Why, what a preposterous question, you silly girl. Why, history is the backbone of our very society and the liver. And probably the kidneys <laughs> if I were to wager. And that means... The southeast quadrant outside of Vale is home to wild forests and deep caves, but it is also the location to one of the kingdom's greatest failures. Mountain Glen. That's right, it was an expansion of Vale. Ah. But in the end it was overrun by Grimm and fenced off from the rest of the city. Correct. And now it stands abandoned. This is our Ah, uh, okay, so now they got a place for a hideout. Precisely. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, it definitely looks abandoned. So what happened? How did it get overrun by Grimm? Ladies, you still may be students, but as of this moment, your first mission as Huntress has begun. From this point forward, you need to do exactly as I say. Do you understand? You're being kind of loud. I thought I told you to leave all your bags back at school. But, uh, you hadn't told us to listen to you yet. So I didn't. She's uh... not wrong. Very well, Ruby, leave your bag here. We can pick it up upon our return. But I... Well... Young lady, what in the world could you possibly have in that bag that could be so important to bring a with... A puppy. Why did you bring that with you? We're here to investigate an abandoned urban jungle teeming with death and hostility. And you brought... A puppy? A dog. I... Uh... Genius! What? Canines are historically known for the perceptive nose and heightened sense of sound, making them excellent companions for hunts such as ours. <laughs> oh God! I'm a genius. Uh -huh. You got oh, lucky. What are your orders, Doctor? Ah, yes, straight to the chase. I like it. As you've been informed, the South hey, don't drop the puppy. A recent hotspot for grim activity. Now there are several possible explanations for this behavior. One of which being grim. Okay. Uh, and the what? others. Grim. A creature of Grimm, approximately 100 yards from us at this very moment. What? Stop! Huh? There are a number of reasons why Grimm would congregate in this particular area. The most likely of which would be their attraction to negativity. Sadness. Envy. Loneliness. Hatred. All qualities that are likely held by our hidden group hovering ill intent. So... Most likely. What now? We wait. We track. If this specimen leads us to its pack, that pack may subsequently lead us to our prey. How long do we wait? It's uncertain. Hours, days, weeks. Why, Lone Grin have been known to stay isolated from the pack for months, and there's the whole pack. Oh, there we go. What? And now they've seen us. What? And now they've seen us! You're being too loud, man! That's why! An accurate assumption? Yes. What's the plan, then? Fight! Survive! Show me what you're capable of. Cover your ears, why? Oh, listen. And <laughs> 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 sure you cut it in half. Stronger girl, or am I missing something? I think they're taking some anime liberties or something. Hey, don't you just run around and sprinkle? Huh? What's wrong with that? Do not celebrate yet, for I am certain this is the first bout of many. Shall we continue? Excellent work, girls! Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any signs of criminal operations in this sector. Oh well, moving on. Let's see how this goes. Hey Doc, you know, I was actually looking forward to seeing a pro huntsman in action. Like, fighting, or at least helping us fight. 
Oh, but I am in action, scouring the ruins of this one great city for any signs of irregularity. Not every mission is filled with daring and heroism, girls. Sometimes that is true. It's a heightened form of extermination. Remember, this is a job, and you all signed up for it. I do hope you understand that. Well, yeah. Uh, of course. Hmm. But yeah, not every job Funny is going to require action. Why did you choose it to does require a reconnaissance. Huh? Well, to fight monsters and save... Oh, that is what you do. I want to know why you do it. The honest reason as to why you want to be a huntress. The honest reason? I'm a thrill seeker. I want to travel around the world and get wrapped up in as many crazy adventures as I can. And if I, I think it's to find her mother. Reason, that's even better. It's a win-win, you know? I see. <laughs> and you, Miss Nee, a girl born into fame and fortune such as yourself certainly doesn't need the extra work. So, why did why you? Yeah, you that's a good that question. Job it's exactly as you said. I'm a Schneed. I have a legacy of honor to uphold. Once I realized I was capable of fighting, there was no longer a question of what I would do with my life. It was my duty. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, so those are great creatures. I thought for a sec they were just birds. And what about you, Blake? You seem to carry yourself with a sense of purpose. There's too much wrong in this world to just stand by and do nothing. Inequality, corruption, someone has to stop it. Very well. Fair enough. Wow. I... Uh... Hmm. She doesn't have an answer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, are we ready to keep going? No, I believe that will have to do for today. It's going to be dark soon. So yeah, best to set up you camp. Three, set up camp in that building. Oh, and please do make sure that there are no more of those creatures. Your leader and I are going to secure the perimeter. Come, Ruby. I wonder if Yang was completely honest with her reasoning, because I'm assuming it's partially to find her mother. That, my dear girl, is a grin. How do you not know this? Let's kill it. I'm afraid your sniper rifle will do nothing more than agitate a grim of that size. But what if it attacks us? Fred, then we Ruby, deal with it. Those are not concerned with us. Ruby, not every grim is mindless. Or rather, not every grim is still mindless. You see, the grim you see before you are so powerful. So superior to the Grim you fought, that they've undoubtedly lived hundreds of years. And in that time, between killing humans and attacking our borders, they've done one important thing. They've, they've adapted. Learned. They've they learned adapt. that when they, they learn. attack our borders, they're likely to die. And what we lack in strength, we make up for it will. And that killing one human will only bring more. Then, why are they still so close to the city? What are they doing? Good question. Waiting. Waiting for what? But yeah, Grim can adapt. They can learn. Dr. Ublek? Hmm? I was wondering. Wondering why I've been interrogating your teammates all day? A actually, I was wondering... Why did you want to become a huntsman? Good question. Look around and tell me what you see. Lots of old buildings, uh, empty streets. I see lives that could have been saved. As a huntsman, it is my job to protect the people. And although I am capable of doing it with traditional weaponry, I believe I can make a much larger impact if I do it with my mind. As a teacher, I'm able to take knowledge, the most powerful weapon of them all, and place it into the hands of every student that passes through my classroom. I look at this wasteland and I see lives that could have been saved. But I also see an opportunity. An opportunity to study these ruins and learn from this tragedy. Mm -hmm. And therefore become stronger. I am a huntsman, Ruby. Because there is nothing else in this world I would rather be. 
Yeah, it is getting dark. You can tell because the sun's starting to set. I can't believe we didn't find anything. We've always been fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. It isn't always going to happen. Have luck on our side. That's not what I meant. Huh? Earlier. About upholding the legacy. There's more to it than that. Yeah. No, me too. I figured. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know either. I know what I want to do, but I figured I'd always take things one step at a time. Well, it doesn't matter. We know why we're here. Right? Ah, oh, wonderful! A textbook campfire! Fire! Oh, warm. Very good. Eat your dinners and hurry to bed. We have a lot of ground to cover tomorrow, and we'll need you to take turns keeping watch over our temporary abode. Any volunteers for first watch? Yo. Hey, hmm? did Ublik ask you why you wanted to be a huntress? I mean, no. what did you tell him? Hmm. He didn't ask no, me. No, he didn't. Weird. Oh well. Good night, guys. Huh. I wonder why he didn't ask her. I guess we'll find maybe we'll find out later. Don't worry. Things will be better tomorrow. I hope so. Okay, I got an episode done. But yeah, I am curious as to why he didn't ask her. <sighs> but yeah, I'll get to work on everything. And um, I'll find out next time, I guess. Anyway. I will see everybody next time. Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and let us continue with Ruby. I'm going to try to finish Volume 2 today. I've got three episodes left, this one and then the other two, so... My blind reaction to Ruby Volume 2, Episode 10, will start in 3, 2, 1. There's a point where it tips, there's a point where it breaks, there's a point where it bends, and a point we just can't take anymore. There's a line that will cross, and there's no return, there's a time and a place, no bridges left to burn anymore. We can't just wait with lies to take until they think we're ready. Our enemies are gathering a storm. See how this episode goes. Trouble sleeping? Arm was acting up. Uh, of course. So logically, you got out of bed, dressed yourself completely, and decided to gaze menacingly out into the distance. What's wrong? I've trusted him for years. We both have. I just, I can't help but feel like he's keeping us in the dark. Don't huh? be ridiculous. You know very well that we are not the ones in the dark. That makes it worse. I refuse to believe that a man I've trusted for so long would act so passively. You're a good person, James. You've always done what you what, think is best for the people. What, do they not trust the headmaster? Even against or is he not protest, starting to not trust him? It's admirable. I mean, but the guy is working with what information they got. talking about trust and started showing it. Ozpin has experience that the rest of us lack. And I think that's something worth remembering. Yeah. I don't know how old the guy is, but he looks like he might be old. At least for the hair color, at least. Though, that could just be regular hair color.
Yeah, as long as it's not being hostile, I think you're good. Blake, what you doing? Are you awake? Probably is now. Why do you think he asked us about being a huntress? Like to gauge you guys, what I guess. To say, maybe he was just curious. You think? Possibly. No. Ugh. Weiss, are you awake? Of course I'm awake. You two are talking. Yeah. And I think he. When I said I wanted to honor my family's name, I meant it. But it's not what you think. I'm not stupid. I'm fully aware of what my father has done with the Schnee Dust Company. Since he took control, our business has operated in a moral gray area. That's putting it lightly. Which is why I feel the need to make things right. If I had taken a job in Atlas, it wouldn't have changed anything. Maybe doing my it this way might change the start something. of our name, and I refuse to let him be the end of it. All my life, I fought for what I thought was right. I had a partner named Adam. More of a mentor, actually. He I'm guessing he was the guy in the trailer? Would make the world a better place. But of course, his idea of a perfect future turned out to be not perfect for everyone. Of course. I joined the Academy because I knew huntsmen and huntresses were regarded as the most noble warriors in the world. Always fighting for good. But I never really thought past that. When I leave the Academy, what will I... How can I induce so many years of hate? I'm sure you'll figure it out. You're not one to back down from a challenge, Blake. But I am. I do it all the time. When you learned I was a faunus, I didn't know what to do, so I ran. When I realized my oldest partner had become a monster, I ran. Even my semblance. I was born with the ability to leave behind a shadow of myself. An empty copy that takes the hit while I run away. That sucks. At least you two have something that drives you. I've just kind of always gone with the flow, you know? And that's fine. I mean, What do you want to bet he's just listening to this whole How thing? How long can I really do that for? I want to be a huntress. Not really because I want to be a hero. But because I want the adventure. I want a life where I won't know what tomorrow will bring. And that'll be a good thing. Being a huntress just happens to line up with that. I'm not like Ruby. She's always wanted to be a huntress. It's like she said, ever since she was a kid, she dreamt about being the heroes in the books, helping people and saving the day, and never asking for anything else in return. <laughs> Even when she couldn't fight, she knew that's what she wanted to do. That's why she trained so hard to get where she is today. Well, she's still just a kid. She's only two years younger. We're all kids. Yeah. Well, not anymore. <laughs> I mean, look where we are. In the middle of a war zone and armed to the teeth? It's the life we chose. It's a job. We all had this romanticized vision of being a huntress in our heads. But at the end of the day... It's a job. It's a job to protect the people. And whatever we want, we'll have to come second. I wouldn't be at all surprised if he was with listening in that entire time. Oh. Oh. Why it's late? Go back to bed. Sway, <gasps> sway. Where's he going? Ugh. Sway, sway. Where are you? Sway. Come on. Ah, oh, sway. Sway, this is a wasteland. You literally could have done that anywhere. What was that? Shit, that was a human voice. What was what? I thought I heard a Beowulf or something. Mm -hmm. Let's just finish our patrol and get back to base. This place gives me the creeps. We found the enemy. Roby, are you nuts? At least go get the professor. Oh my god, they're gonna find her. Did they go 
and yet. One bark means yes. Oh, this is it! This is it! Oh, man! Come on, we gotta get the others. Crap. Go get the others. Well, we know where they are now. Underground. Freeze! Where does she come from? Girl, careful. You're a long way from home, little girl. is gonna want to see this one. Well now, if she's not good with hand-to-hand -hand combat, good to know. Hey Weiss, it's your... Ruby? Hey, where's Ruby? What? Zwei? <laughs> What's going on? Something happened. Grab your weapons! Your leader may be in trouble. Hey, you trying to do blow us to the moon? Sorry, sir. Hey, boss! You found something you might want to see. Is it good or bad, Perry? Because let me tell you, I have had a day. Uh. The little girl? That would be bad. Ruby's scythe! Oh no. Do you think she fell? Fell! Down there. Oh my. Yeah. Of course. Of course, of course, of course! What is it? How could I be so stupid? Dr. Ublek, what's wrong? Their hideout is underground. Yes. An expansion of Vale that was inevitably destroyed by creatures of Grimm, previously home to thousands of people, working people, commuting to the city, the main city, developed a subway system to the inner city. Grimm's attacks increase. Population in danger, now desperately searching for shelter. City evacuates into metro tunnels, and what do they find? The southeast quadrant of Vale is known for wild forests and deep caves. <laughs> Duck, what are you saying? My dear, They're we're underground. Just for an underground crime network. We're looking for an underground crime network. They've been working in caves? No, yep. no. Mountain Glen was Vale's first serious attempt at expansion. It worked for a short period of time, thanks to an aggressive perimeter defense and unique They can't talk so freaking fast. I'm surprising. To carry citizens buff with safely it. from the new territory into the main kingdom. Sadly, without the many natural barriers Vale had to protect its borders, Mountain Glen was doomed from the start. As the end drew near, the citizens of the territory made one last attempt at survival. They took up shelter beneath the city, in massive caves that they had cleared out for the subway. And they had cut themselves off from the surface. Uh, an underground village? Yep. In a matter of speaking, yes. A, a safe haven. Until... an explosion opened the mouth of another cavern, filled with subterranean grim. After that... The kingdom officially sealed off the tunnels, creating the world's largest tomb. If Ruby is down there, gotta go down there and get her. We must find her. Yeah, gotta get her out. Oh, now we might get to see this guy in action. Not just not just surveying the area, but fighting. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Ooh, that ominous music. Okay. I hope you guys are excited. Because things are about to pick up. And I will see you all next time.